All right, I'm here with Captain Banana. We're gonna talk to him, see how he's been. How's TNT treated you? How oh, did it treat you? TNT was awesome. I had a, uh, I had an awesome trainer. We, uh, well, because of COVID-19, truck availability was scarce, and uh, I got my 50,000 miles in. And then they just, you know, they told me, well, you know, you can go home for a couple of weeks and wait for a truck. And I'm like, uh, yeah, that's not going to work. I live in New Jersey. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's right. Because um, it was one of the hot spots. Yep, one of the hot spots. One of the hot spots. So I, uh, I stayed on my trainer's truck and, uh, I mean, geez, 75,000 miles in TNT. It's a lot of miles. Yeah, well, you know, we were out there hitting it hard. Putting the miles in and uh, making the moolah. But y'all got along great, didn't y'all? Oh yeah, it was great. You so know, we cracked each other up. We had a lot of laughs. So overall, it was a great experience on yep. this truck. Excellent experience. How many times did you go home during TNT? None. None. He, he hasn't been home since he started TNT because it's a hot spot in New Jersey. So he just been out here grinding out your miles. About how many weeks has it been? She started March 16th. March 16th to... So four months. Four months. Four months of TNT to you get your own truck. And he did the upgrade classes. How did they go? Uh, they were good. They were uh, relatively easy. The only one that wasn't easy was the uh, was the backing on the simulator. Because uh, well, I couldn't stick my head out the window and yeah. back up till it sounded expensive. <laughs> What else? What kind of classes did you have? Uh, like, walk me through your day. What did you do? What time oh, about did it start? I had the. Uh, we watched a, a safety video. We talked about that. Then we had the simulator because you can't call it a video game. So we had the simulator class where we did the backing, and uh, I was a little apprehensive with the simulator because it's a simulator, but it's not really like backing the truck up and uh, so it took me a little while because i don't play a whole lot of video games yeah i can't call it a video game it's a simulator so and i i couldn't stick my head out the window and, and and do the backing that way so i had to just rely on the simulated mirrors and it was difficult i, I struggled with it a little bit but the first time i got i got it in the dock it took me about eight minutes I practiced again and I got it down to about five minutes and I wanted to practice it a third time and the third time I got it into the dock and he's just like yeah you, you passed I'm like but I'm still practicing you passed get out of here you're oh that's good. good the next day was the automatic class now I took an automatic class in Pittston right after I got my CDL because I had so many questions because I told you to yeah on PSD and then you told me like you know I don't know, I'm going to take the automatic class as soon as you got your CDL, and I did, but I didn't get any credit for it, so I had to repeat the class, which was fine because the second time, you know, the, the, this last class we took, we had an instructor there, and he talked about all the different aspects. Answered all of the questions. Oh, that yeah, you had. And, and I learned quite a bit. Like, um, I didn't know that uh, the Jake brake only really slows down one drive wheel. I thought it slowed down both drive wheels and if it doesn't it only slows down one wheel yeah and the reason that you don't want to use a jake brake in inclement weather be it rain or snow is because you'll slow down the tractor wheels but there's nothing slowing that trailer down and that trailer exactly. will come around on you and exactly. uh, you know you put the jake brakes on too aggressively and it's raining or you know snowing and you lose traction that trailer puts you in a ditch before you can even blink. How about uh, CBTs? Did you have more CBTs? Yeah, um, most of which I had already done because when I was in Pittston, I just I watched all the videos. Yeah, you know, but then I had to rewatch the videos. Okay. And uh, there, there's one video that is it's an hour long, and they don't tell you about it, and it's the E log. It's the E log mandate. And there's a lot of very, very important information in that video. I mean, it's a, it's an hour long video. It sounds, you know, like a lot to sit through and watch. And uh, I guess it 
sort of is, but there's so much information that they give you. And uh, the girl that does the e-log thing was uh, very informative. I mean, there, there's there's so much to learn about working at Qualcomm. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. Now, you can't have really have that CBT before you actually go out in TNT because you wouldn't understand none of it. So right. it's great that they do it after you finish TNT, and that's the reason that they wait so long to yeah, And anything that you didn't learn on TNT with that e-log mandate, you learn how to do it, why to do it, and then she explains why it's done the way it's done. Yeah. So, how about... Um, is there anything else that you have to do before you get your truck, or is that everything? Um, CBTs, the automatic class, the e-log mandate. Oh, well, yeah, then you go on the site, you sign up, and okay. put your information in and wait for a truck. Wait for a truck. So they have a site that you enter, you enter in to wait on the list for a truck yeah. now. Yeah. See, I didn't know that. I thought that you still checked into leasing over there, and... They well, you, put you on the list. I didn't know you can check in online. Yeah, you check in online. I guess that's you know that's that's new to me. I'm social learning something. Distan <laughs> social distancing. Very social distancing from yeah. online. So now he's waiting on his truck. You got any exciting stories about TNT? Anything happen funny? Uh, oh God, a lot of things happen funny. My trainer is from Mississippi, and he does a spot on Forrest Gump. So we're stuck in traffic. And everybody's on the CB radio. Hey, what lane should we be in? What lane should we be in? And he just reached up, grabs her. My mama says we should be in the right lane. But she used to beat me with a hose. And I was crying. I wanted to get it on video. He had me laughing so hard. I couldn't get it on video because all, be, all, all you'd see is the camera bouncing around from me laughing. And all you hear is me laughing. Also, I forgot to tell you, if y'all want to see what TNT was like, he did videos about once a week. Well, I, I did videos week. every day, but then I'd spend, you know, Sunday night putting them all Put together them. and editing them. And everything. So he did his entire week, and he combined it all together and put out one video about once a week, every Sunday or Monday. And subscribe to his channel. He's Captain Banana. It's a great channel. He's one of my PSD students, so definitely look forward to watching that channel for sure. And... How was he about the YouTube? Did he care if you made YouTube videos on his truck? Or? Nah. No. No? Yeah, a couple of times he's photobombed me. <laughs> oh, did he? Yeah. yeah. I got to look back through your videos and see if I can uh, find them on your uh, photos. There, there was one time, uh, you know, I, I had him do a couple of his Forrest Gump things. And he's like, now what do you want from me? What do you want from me? I'm on some trade monkey you can put on the YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> now, I heard him in that last video when he was on the phone. And I guess he was quiet because you were doing a video and yeah. he was talking to somebody and he was like, no, I'm not talking to you because Dave's doing a video <laughs> over here. I'm trying to be quiet. I was laughing. That yeah. was funny. Yeah. That was definitely funny. Uh, he was, he was, he was, he's hilarious. I mean, it's... So are you still happy that you came to Prime? Oh, definitely. You feel good about the company? No, oh, uh, I think it's the best company out there. I did my research before I came to Prime. And, uh, and I mean, I, I, I was going to go to CR England because my stepson went to CR England. Now with CR England, they're, they're in class training and all that. They don't feed you. You got to bring your own food. Yeah. You know, and, and I was just like, well, that sucks. And then, uh, you know, I, I was talking to Kiersey, uh, trucking along with Kiersey. She's the one that actually told me about Prime. She didn't talk me out of going into CR England. She just talked about all the things that Prime had to offer. And I was just like, well, you know, you had me sold on, we have a cafeteria. Yeah. yeah I mean, we're spoiled here. Like, wow, big time. I mean, just imagine the change from Pittston Terminal to this one. Like, you come here, you got a basketball court, movie theater, 24 7 gym. cafeteria, full size gym. I mean, now we got a taco truck. And then we don't even mention, we got all those showers up there. We got laundry up there. I mean, like, we have a lot of stuff here, yeah. and we are spoiled. Once you, once we leave Prime, we're going to go try go to our next terminal, and we're going to be like, 
this is ghetto. Like, <laughs> this is going to be ghetto. We're going to be like, wow, man, we're, uh, I, we're I, in the I, projects I, now. I've talked to other truckers from other companies, and I, and I tell them everything that Prime offers, and he's just like, what? We got a soda machine that's empty. We got a coffee machine that don't work. Yeah, I've heard that before. You, know, you, you sleep on a steel bunk. I was yeah. just like, wow. Yeah, no good. Yeah. No good. But yeah, that's uh, Captain Banana's experience so far. He's finished with TNT. He's getting a truck now. Make sure y'all subscribe to his channel. If y'all are new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Watch all of my videos. It'll give you ideas about Prime. And we're out of here. So bye. See ya. See ya.